We brought in Andy McCarthy so we could ask that question, former assistant U.S. attorney. Andy, I mean, I joke because we're talking about some of the sillier, but this is really serious stuff. And I'm thinking about the things you talk about in your car, the places you're going, the amount of information, including when it comes to a Volkswagen, I guess they're, they're collecting demographic, demographic and financial data. But they're using speed, geolocation, seatbelt usage, internet activity. I mean, they know everything, these car companies. Yeah, well, Sandra, you know, look, if you're, if you're connected to the internet yeah. or you're connected to satellites, they're gathering information on you. You know, the, thinking about the context of a car, it makes sense to, to just sort of look at that and say, my God, how much they're collecting on us. But it's everywhere. You know, while, while the report was going on, I just remembered I have this Apple Watch on. You know, I used to just wear a, a regular watch. But anything you, you're, uh, you adorn yourself with or you surround yourself with where you're connected to the Internet, they're collecting on you. And yeah. essentially, your right to privacy is a right to privacy from government intrusion yep. without court warrants or s similar kinds of showings and process. There's not a lot of regulation on private actors. Mm, okay, maybe that's coming down. We don't know. Um, but be careful yep. what you say and what you do and where you go. Yep. Um, real quickly, to the Georgia uh, and this uh, Georgia and this grand jury report uh, just out today and this panel recommending charging dozens, Andy, including Lindsey Graham in this Trump case. What is your thought on all of that? I think it just underscores how heedless this case is of constitutionally protected activity and political activity in the United States. My assessment of just the, the people she charged, forget about the people who Fannie Willis didn't charge, uh, it seems to me that uh, it's hard to figure out what the crime is there in certain places. I think the RICO that she's tried to, the racketeering count that she's tried to join this all together with doesn't make a lot of sense to me as someone who prosecuted racketeering cases for a living back in the day. But I'm not at all surprised at the people they left on the side the fact that they were investigating them or thought they were investigating them for what essentially is political activity is disturbing. Very interesting. Um, good to get your reaction to that, Andy, and great to see you on this Friday. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.